Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Arizona State's been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. in the middle of Iowa. We're at Jack Trice Stadium in Ames for today's game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Arizona State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Arizona State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone. Fires it quickly. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. McDonald gets a carry left side, and he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Swings it left. He's got his fullback. Knocked out of bounds at the 43. That'll make it 35. Scrambling around. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. When you get in these third-down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Chase is set back, ready to punt. He'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Sun Devils and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough, this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. Every offense needs to have at least one back who can make something happen in the passing game, especially offenses that run a lot of screen plays. You can really gain the upper hand on a defense when you can utilize them like we just saw. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. Tackle made at about the 31. They get a one-yard loss on that one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. From their own 31-yard line, second down. He throws left. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. He 
Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle at the 39-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Zips it to the back, and he's tackled around the 27-yard line. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. First and 15 now after the penalty. Big hit. He's going to lose yardage. And he throws it away. This is the ninth play of this drive. Deep pass to the end zone. Can't connect. That'll bring up fourth and long, and we should be seeing the kicker here. Good stand by the defense to keep them out of the end zone on this drive. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Arizona State could take the lead with this field goal. Is away. It's long enough. And he got it. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's take a look at Lovett. It felt as if the game rested on every play. And for Holland, he puts up terrific numbers with four touchdown passes. The Wildcats walk out with a seven-point win. In other action, the Black Knights were ranked 19. And after that bitterly disappointing performance, they can expect to be unranked next week. And for UCF, they've won two straight. And for Henry, he finished the day with a pair of touchdown catches. UCF wins it 31-24. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Sun Devils are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Caught out in the open. Not that of a play. Let's continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. He scrambled, runs with it, and he's got room. And down he goes at the 37. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. Room around the corner. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. Goss with a nice play fake, and he has it on the corner. He'll take it himself. He's tackled right around the 34. Quick pass tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. the 34-yard line. It's second down. Caught open field. 
He scores. What a play. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job showing balance, and play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 7-3. Harrington from the two. He makes it to the 25-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Kill, kill. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, second down. After a decent pickup. Caught enough for the first down. And they make the stop around the 42 yard line. Let's go, let's go. He's at the 40, at the 30, to the 20. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game second and goal. That brings him second and goal. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. It off and he got all of that one and they can forget about returning this one well this is a very competitive game just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum the other team comes fighting back and it's going back and forth this is almost like a basketball game and we see this offense again after what you Kirk called a very physical touchdown drive well I say that Brad because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game and it helped them get the score let's see if they can do it again he makes it out maybe to the one but well, this is a very competitive game just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the moment fires out quick it's picked off he is drilled at the 43-yard line. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Arizona State is up by three. He chucks it downfield, and it's complete for the touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver, and not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback.
The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. And they lose a couple there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this. And so you can be sure of that. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. Makes it to the 47. Gets out to about the 45 yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. They'll drop him for a loss. Loss of two on the play. That brings us third and ten. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. And that, Mike, number 395. 395. And he tackles him hard at the 47 yard line. That's a loss of six yards. Fourth down. to the sack it's now fourth and long Quinn is back awaiting the punt and he's taken down at the 32 Arizona State's taking no prisoners in this game so far Herbie well they've really exploited some one-on-one -on -one opportunities and came up with some big plays that eventually have led to those touchdowns Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Push him out at about the 45. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. Hold this. I like 50. I like 50. Easy. And he's taken down at the 47. That's a gain of five yards. That makes it second and two. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it first and ten. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. Let's go, Mike. Mike, 50. Makes it out to about the 33. That's good for the game. That brings in second and one. Mike, 50. Mike, 50. Larry, Larry. That's a great tackle at the 26. Game of seven yards. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 26 yard line. A 
up the middle for a nice game. That makes it seven and six. Under pressure, and they got it. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. He heaves it to the end zone. Touchdown, Sun Devils. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 69-yard drive, and they seven points to the scoreboard. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Swings it left. He's got his fullback. He's taken down at the 33. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, the Sun Devils lead it by 17. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. up a screen tailbacks got it tackle at the 45 yard line got some open field he gets it out to about the 47 yard line Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Short over the middle. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. Six-yard pickup. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. Tackle made at the 43. That'll make it fourth and six. Chase awaits the snap. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. the four-yard line. And he's level at the three-yard line. That makes it 
Let's go, D. This is the This is the Nice run to the outside. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want none. They don't want none of this. That brings us over to three. Harris, back to return it. Harris fields it at the 41. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. Second down yards to go. Ball on the 36 yard line. Junior, and he hits him hard at the 27. Scrambling around, and down he goes at the 26 yard line. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. the distance and he splits the uprights they line up to kick this one away he really got a hold of that kick he's to the 20 Brought down at the 26. The Sun Devils game plan is just what we've been seeing through a couple of quarters now. Give this guy the football and let it ram it down the defense's throat and just keep giving it to him until he gets tired or the defense gets tired. Well, the offensive line, I also think, deserves a lot of credit. You know, the, the back is the star. He's been getting most of the yards and most of the attention, but he's not doing it alone. The offensive line's paving the way and opening this thing up, and, and the running back's taking advantage of it. They've had a great first half. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Quick throw incomplete one of his receiver. They're about four yards away here on third down. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Walton to punt. And down he goes at the 37-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Slings it. He's tackled at the 49. Complete and taken down immediately. He makes it to the 40. Now he 
tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and it's no good. It lands short. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Throws in a hurry. And he's hit immediately. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. And it's the stop right around the 12 yard line. run and he's brought down. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. run up the middle that's a gain of four on the play that makes it first and goal to get six. Yep, he made a good decision and threw a very catchable ball. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. To review, to review the, the play, play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field stands. stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 58-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Play fake and looking to run. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. He picks up a good seven yards there on the quarterback keeper. Iowa State just took their first time out. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Good open field tackle. He's scrambling, and he's going to...
going to be sacked for a loss. From their own 36 yard line, it's third down. Let's go, let's go. Mike, number 15. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down around the 47 yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down. So the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Arizona State's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Tackle the 39-yard line. The Sun Devils call a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gets rid of it quickly. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. be able to get the pass off. Going right, intercepted. And he's tackled right around the 40. Well, that's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. And that turnover could help them out. First and 10, ball on the 40. He scrambled. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. The quarterback scramble gains three yards. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the 28-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Quick out to his receiver. Touchdown, Cyclones. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 40-yard drive, and they put up seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all this one great kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback and the offense will take the field and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive which ended with a turnover and I don't think this defense will lay down lightly they're going to try to continue to rattle this guy he gets out to about the 37 yard line
tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. We played a half. The Sun Devils in front, 31-17. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both offenses rolling at will in the first half. And as you watch these teams head to the locker room for halftime, there were some skill guys. That, that chest was puffed out a little bit more. They were kind of looking up in the stands and said, did you see what I just did? <laughs> yeah, see, ready to pad their stats, get some helmet stickers. Yeah, they're all excited. But I tell you what, that's the one thing that's hard about the game of football you see all the time is the momentum swings. Once you really get dialed in and once things start going your way, sometimes it's hard to stop it. And that's why you see runs on offense. And both offenses in great rhythm. I mean, they, they haven't had many negative plays. Everything's gone in the right direction. They're both performing at a high level. One of these defenses in the second half needs to step up, make some plays, get them out of their comfort zone a little bit. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He'll take it from the two. He's taken down at the 29. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Wants to throw outside. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Second down and 10 to go. Ball of the 29. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 39. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And down he goes at the 47 yard line. First down. They get nice yardage on that run. That makes it seven and six. He's at the 30. The senior makes the catch. That makes it first and ten. He fights forward to about the 19. Gets it. He's in space. And he's level at the 13. Neal brings him down at the 13-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He steps out around the 10-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. And he 
takes it out to about the eight yard line. Throws it away. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks up. And they tack on three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The Sun Devils' plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it as well as we've seen it. Yeah, they're running the football. These backs seem to be hitting the holes just at the right time. And how about the offensive line? Just opening up some nice holes, just doing what this offense needs to do to be successful. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it 70 14. So it's 2nd and 14. Ball on the 21-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 21. They shut that drive down pretty emphatically. That's something to build on. Chase to punt. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yard time. You take what you can get. The defense held them to three on their last possession. Pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better. He's tackled at midfield. Gaining 12 yards. First down. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Check the outs up there. Four down, four down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. They'll bring him down at the 36. That's a team of 14 yards on the ball. That makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. Hey, Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Somebody jumped early down there. Check, 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 check. False start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Lost the ball, fumble! Second and five, ball on the 31. Vickers with a nice play fake. Throws into coverage, just picked off. And they'll return this one all the way. That tackle could have saved a very big play.
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 18. They make the stop at the 15. McDonald gains around three yards on the run. That'll make it second and seven. Anytime you can prevent a third down conversion, you're doing something right. Solid coverage. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Iowa State gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 31-yard line. Now here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Almost intercepted there. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 31. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. Third and long now after the sack. He throws it. Incomplete pass. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Walton is the punter. Harris fields it at the 35, and down he goes at the 46-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Slings it, and he's taken down at about the 49. the 41 makes it to the 31 it out to maybe the 30-yard line.
carries the ball for a nice game. He's under some heat. He lost the ball, and they fall the loose ball. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Well, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. And they got him for a loss. Rose complete and he's hit right away. Complete brought down, nothing doing. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. Oh, excellent putt. And he can't hang on to the ball. He's tackled at the 23. I'll tell you, a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. You got to seed the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's on the run. Brought down around the 25-yard line. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle at the 28. That'll make it 35. Back's got nowhere to go. Quinn is back awaiting the punt. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Quinn is back awaiting the punt. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Quinn is back awaiting the punt. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. It's second and ten. Ball on the 46. to his receiver. Tackle made at the 35. Ground on the tackle at the 35 yard line. First down. Here we go, D. Hey, we got Mike 50. Mike 50, yo. Hey, we got Mike 50. And he 
hauls that one in. He's at the 20. He's taken down at the eight yard line. Gets to about the eight yard line. Throw in the end zone, touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, action going on in Seattle. The Huskies relentless with their rushing attack, and they score a touchdown. Washington leads it 7-0. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Caught with room to work. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. around the 45-yard line. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. He's got room. And he hits him hard at the 39. Quick throw, and he's tackled right away. the 40. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He rifles it. And it's going the other way. Here's an opening. The defense really cranked up the heat there. Give those guys all the credit for forcing a desperation pass. First and ten, ball on the 34-yard line. Scrambling around, decides to slide. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. Check, 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 check. 
The pitch, and he's got some room. Pitches back, gains his way to the 10-yard line. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at the nine-yard line. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. He hits the PAT. A five-play, 34-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And they can forget about returning this one. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And they get nice yardage on that run. Four yards away here on third down. And he tackles him hard at the 34. That's a Chase awaits the snap. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. Right on the tackle at the 49-yard line. First down. From their own 49-yard line. First down, Arizona State with a big advantage. He lets it fly. The defender had it and then dropped it. That makes it second and ten. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. My 50, my 50. Here's the halfback. Big opening. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29. That makes it first and 10. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. Mike 50, Mike 50. Coming. Coming. Down. Steps out of bounds at the 25-yard line. That makes it second and six. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Mike's 
Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at the 16. Call it again at 12 yards. First down. Arizona State up big right now in this one. He tackles him for a loss. And this play is number eight on the drive. rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He gets hit out of bounds around the 10-yard line. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. This will just add insult to injury. He gets it up, and it's good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Cornhuskers came into the game ranked seventh. They're now bungee jumping, and the cord's going to break. And for Ohio State, their hot streak continues. Ryan's performance in the passing game was nothing short of spectacular. Four touchdown passes in this one. The Buckeyes get the win, 34-10. In other action, the Cowboys entered today's game ranked 12th in the nation but their sights firmly set on the top 10. We've got a tight one going on here. Mason's a determined runner and one that makes the most of every opportunity. He takes this opportunity to get it into the end zone. Oklahoma State leads it 7-3, late in the first quarter. Thanks, Reese. Well, this one's not even close. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't, don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Less than three minutes in the game. Caught open field. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. and taken down immediately. Pressured and brought down. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Catches it, and that's all. Carter gains about four yards there. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. They just couldn't pull it off. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. I expect them to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line.
from their own 40-yard line. Second down. We have less than a minute to go. Here's the give. They'll drop him for a loss. One yard loss for the halfback. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 39. Gets out to around the 48. Well, player down, and his teammates obviously worried after that play. For Kirk and Aaron, I think I can say we're glad this one's over. Arizona State, 51. Iowa State, 20. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.